every destination brings new cultures, new sights and sounds, new attractions. But some people seek out culinary adventures when they're on vacation. Getting off the beaten path can really help you find that perfect top-notch restaurant, visit an amazing vineyard, and one that might inspire today's master chefs. But many people don't know that a river cruise is the perfect way to experience some of those amazing foods and wines from around the globe. Tony and I had the opportunity to visit the beautiful Blue Elk Vineyard in Northeast Maryland and sit down with Kathy DiVincenzo from Ama Waterways to learn some of her favorites on wine-themed cruises. So we are at the beautiful Blue Elk Vineyard in Northeast Maryland with our friend Kathy DiVincenzo from Ama Waterways to talk about all things river cruising and wine. That's right, and it could not be a more perfect setting, right? Look at our setup here, our lovely charcuterie board and our wine, and it's great to talk about themed wine cruises, right? It really is. So Kathy, tell us, why is river cruising one of the best ways to experience wine? Well. I'm going to talk about why AMA River Cruising is the best way to experience wine because AMA is a little bit different. We include champagne at breakfast, beer and wine at lunch and dinner, but it's only fine wine. And we select wines that are paired with our dinners and they're from the local areas where we're sailing. So that just brings the whole area to life and it just adds to the cruise and everything everyone is experiencing. So when you talk about a wine-themed cruise, how is it different from your other typical river cruises? Well, our typical river cruises do have a lot of wine, but with our wine cruises, we have a wine host who comes over from the U.S. and they do three different presentations while they're on board. And during those presentations, they taste four different wines, two old world wine, two new world wine. And it's a fun, gregarious situation. And they teach you a lot about wines that you might not realize, the little things that are um, flavors in the wines and just the history we play some fun games and then we add in some tours that aren't part of our normal tour package that will take you to wineries and just different wine experiences so a wine cruise has no additional cost it just adds a little bit more to the experience that's great. And I love that job, a wine host, right? right? Wouldn't that be fun? That would be amazing. So speaking of wine hosting, I like to host a red wine. So where would I head? Which rivers would be best for me if I'm a red wine lover? Well, I too am a red wine lover. So my favorite is in the south of France on the Rhone and the Saone. There you're going to get the Bourjolais and the Cote de Rhone wines. And just the whole area is just magnificent. But we're not gonna discount Bordeaux because that of course is the French region that everybody knows for its fine wine. And on our Bordeaux cruise, it's wine, wine, and more wine. So for the wine lover, this is perfect because we take you to winery tours in the morning and the afternoon. You'll taste several different wines. It'll be paired with different things that add to the flavor. You'll learn a lot more about the history of wine. And then you have Portugal, which Portugal is a little bit different. They have great red wines. Everyone knows it for its port wines. Mm -hmm. So do you know how port wine got to be? No idea. But enlighten us, please. <laughs> I learned on our Portugal cruise. Well, what happened is it was invaded by the British and the British loved it so much that they wanted to take the red wine home, but they couldn't figure out how to stop the fermentation process to bring those Portuguese red wines home. So they poured brandy into the red wine <gasps> and created port wow. wine. That's really cool. So it's little things that we learn on our wine cruises that are little fun tidbits, but um, the wines in, in Portugal and France, and of course the other wines in the rest of Europe are fabulous as well. But you learn all these different things, taste these tastes, and, and it's just something that we bring to the table that our competitors don't. Now Kathy, what departures or itineraries would be best for somebody who's newer to wine tasting? Well, our Rhine and Danube are prime prospects for those folks that are new. The Rhine is really famous for its Riesling wine. And then there's also a wine called Gruner Vetliner. And that came from the Italians when they conquered that area and they brought the grapes from Italy. So that's a really popular white wine. So of course the Rhine is great. We have our captivating wine, Rhine, our enchanting Rhine. And then one of our Rhine itineraries allows you to and in Lake Como, so you can get some Italian oh, wine. Nice. So yeah. we have a whole plethora of different choices on the Rhine. And then when we go to the Danube, we have the Waka Valley, which is world famous for its wines. And I just like walking through the vineyards myself. We have several hikes that take you through the vineyards. 
But we also can't discount Christmas markets. I love the Christmas markets and the warm wine. Like It is amazing. And for anyone that doesn't know, that's called glue vine. And with the Christmas markets, they have the glue vine, and each Christmas market has a little cup that's indigenous to the market, mm -hmm. and they change it every year. So say that it's three euros for the glass of glue vine, and you walk around and drink it. If you bring it back, you get your one euro back, but if you don't, you get to keep the glass. So. I kept the glasses. <laughs> I kept the glasses as well. It is, it is. It it's a cute is. souvenir and just uh, something to bring out at parties and everybody brings up the topic and everything, so it's really cute. But it's such a neat experience to have your glue vine in your hand, you're walking around to the different Christmas market stalls and just, you know, enjoying the scenery and, and the, you know, the Christmas spirit. It's, it's just a great... all those ornaments to bring back for your friends. Friends, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is a, an amazing experience. And I, too, buy the ornaments. I get them for my grandchildren, so they'll, they'll have ornaments from around the world. But my husband's a foodie, so he hits all the food stands. And speaking of food, how does Ama really take that wine-themed experience and pair that with cuisine on board the ship? Our head chef, Robert Kellerhouse, is new to Ama Waterways. And what he's done is he's selected different wines and menus with Rudy Schreiner, our owner, and they create our menus and pair it so that you will have our alternate dining multi-course wine paired dinner in our chef's table. But then we're also having a Chandon Rotisserie dinner, and that is the chef's tribute to his craft. And that will also have different pairings and different menu selections. So there's so many things that we do, but we also do that every night. So there will be different selections. You'll have selections of white wine, red wine. Say you're in one place and you love the wine, and the next night you're not really as favorable to that wine as you were from the night before. You can request the wine from the night before, oh, the night great, before. Yeah. So we let you make choices, and believe it or not, it's included and it's unlimited. Well, and wow. I love that, it, you know, if you're not a red wine drinker, you can try a little bit of the red wine from that region, see if you like it, then, you know, you can try the white wine. So it's really a, it's really a nice way to figure out what is your palate, what wines do taste good to you, which I love that you can do that on a river cruise. And not all river cruises, but with Ama Waterways, you can. <laughs> <laughs> So I had the amazing experience of doing the Rhine River um, cruise with the wine um, pairing for my 10th anniversary. And it was just such an unbelievable adventure to have, like you said, someone from the U.S., from the, a winery, talking about their wines, comparing it to the wines of the Rhine, seeing how a California white is different than a German white. It was wow. just such a fun experience. And we got to do the, um, the hiking tour through some of the vineyards, and you're going up the terrace vineyards, and it was just beautiful. And as you go up the terrace vineyards, you're not just going on a hike, because every so often you stop and you get to sample the wine. Mm. So you're walking and then you're t tasting the wine with the winemaker, the local winemaker. It was just an unbelievable experience. I'm sure there's a couple of guides to make sure you get back to the ship safely are, after all absolutely. that wine tasting. Absolutely. Great. And you actually see the ship from the vineyard. That's how close <laughs> you are. So you're safe in the hands of Alma. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Kathy. We appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you so much. And we have a toast okay. to your health. It's called Gesundheit in German. Cheers. 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 You have many choices to tailor your perfect themed river cruise experience. Learn more at AAA.com travel.